Hello ladies and gentlemen, thanks for joining us. Um, I'm Brian from Esports Scotland. Over the next 10 minutes, I'll be revealing details of Scottish Esports League Season 2 and what the first game we're going to represent in the season is, as well as a couple other little surprises for you. Esports Scotland's two main goals in 2018 were to grow our community and figure out the optimal format for Scottish Esports League, or SEL as we call it. Now, in 2019, our community is over 10,000 members strong across multiple forms of social media and the success of our events such as Overwatch Esports Scotland Cup, Big Fest and Resonate has given, a, has given us a better understanding of the Scottish esports scene. Our mission has always been to support Scottish esports at every level and through all the hard work our team put in with Season 1, we are now in a much stronger position to complete this mission. Now, Esports Scotland has been very quiet in 2019 so far, but we've been far from dormant. Our entire team has been working tirelessly to prepare SEL Season 2, and today is the day we finally open that chest. I'm very happy to announce that, and I'm sure there's no surprises here from anyone. Our first game in SEL Season 2 is Smash Brothers Ultimate on Nintendo Switch. Smash is one of the biggest esports in Scotland, and we are proud to be working with these TOs to bring you Smash Ultimate in SEL Season 2. There will be eight offline events, and they will be held around different regions in Scotland. I'm very, very proud to announce today that these tournaments will be hosted by Scotland's local Smash scenes, with the grand finals taking place at Resonate 2019 in partnership with Curry's PC World. So far, in 2019, like I've said, we've been very quiet, but after today, you've only seen the tip of the iceberg. While Esports Scotland is growing, Scottish Esports itself is as well. Already this year, we have seen numerous record-breaking turnouts at fighting game tournaments around Scotland. More Scottish Esports organisations has emerged with Hooli Gaming, as well as established ones getting sponsored, such as the Summoners Glasgow, sponsoring TPO Esports. More Scottish players and teams are travelling to events as well, such as Aura attending Epic 26 last month. Scottish events are expanding as well, such as Scotland going from 25 attendees to over 100 with Scotland 5. Also, just look at where we are folks, like there's a smash event happening in Dynamic Air. Like, it's, it's insane, like, Scottish esports is going to roar this year, and that roar will be heard all around the world. But none of this would be possible without you, the Scottish esports community. Without you, Esports Scotland wouldn't exist. So to all the players, teams, organisations, tournaments and event organisers, partners and sponsors of Scottish esports, thank you for making Esports Scotland and the Scottish esports scene what it is today. We'd also like to take this opportunity to thank in particular our partner, Curry's PC World who provide us with PCs for previous events, as well as hired us to run their booth at Resonate in October. Since then, we've been working with them behind the scenes to help elevate SEL Season 2 to what it is today. And finally, we'd like to thank Mike, um, who's not here with us, but we'll, we'll send love, <laughs> uh, for being the driving force behind this event and making it possible, as well as Nintendo themselves for choosing Edinburgh as their UK Smash Bowl qualifier. They could have chosen anywhere in the UK for this, but they chose Edinburgh. And they've given so much support to Scottish esports over the years. So thank you, Nintendo, wherever they are. <laughs> I'd like to thank you for listening to our presentation. And we'll be now having a Q&A with some of the Smash TOs. We'll be answering your questions about Smash Ultimate and SEL2, as well as the season in general. Thank you very much.